everyone. All right. So I wanted to take you along with me on a day of working my nine to five office corporate job. For starters, I typically get up around 4.15, 4.30 a.m. I'm the type of person that rather get my workout in earlier instead of going later at night when it's extremely busy. Um, On days I need an extra boost, I will take some pre-workout. Not the full scoop, but a little bit less than half. I love this one. This one is by BPN, the prickly pear. Um, yeah. And then I put on my shoes. I actually love these Nike Metcons, especially for leg day. And as you can tell, I wrote out my plan for the day just ahead of time, just so that way, like when I get to the gym, I don't have to think about it. I just kind of follow my plan. So when I get to the gym, I always start out with some type of dynamic stretching. You guys, if you can do your box jumps, jump rope, plyometric exercise is so, so good for your body. I do do supersets. I don't ever not do supersets, especially when it comes to leg day. And so I start out with squats. I do around four sets, eight to 10 reps each. I do amp up the weight each set. And then I wanted to do some walking lunges. These are killer. Oh my goodness. Um, kettlebell swings these definitely get your heart rate up if you want to just keep you know your heart rate up and then I did some good mornings on this machine I have no idea what this is called I yeah um, I love pistol squats that was like one of my goals is to do pistol squats and now I can do like five on each leg without assist so that's awesome there's no better feeling than finishing your workout like that felt so good and typically my workouts have not been feeling that good. Okay, so I finished up my workout and now I just headed home. Also, you guys, please let me know if you do like voiceovers. I really don't do them a ton, but I kind of enjoy it. Um, so anyway, I did, I got home, I take off my shoes. The first thing I do is greet my puppy and then I go into the shower. I kind of want to wear a skirt and sweater. I don't know. Let's try it on. Okay, so you guys always hear me talk about the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, one size concealer, but lately just because like, I don't know, my color in my face has just become a lot lighter, especially with winter and obviously like, the season chain and change and stuff like that, but it's been going on for months now. The Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer is by far one of my like go-tos, especially right now, just because it is lighter. I think the coverage is so good. Like, look at how pretty that bronzer is. Don't mind my frizzy hair. Um, but yeah, the company OG sent me a few products and I've been trying them, you guys, and I know they're a little bit pricey, but luckily they gave me a 15% off discount code so I can share with you guys. If you guys want to use my code, it's Alexis Lee Trevino. I will leave it linked right here. I'm not entirely sure, but I want to say it's that. If you want a bronzer sculpting kit, either to gift or use yourself. I highly recommend it. I've been using these every single day and have not stopped. Going in with the blush. Let me finish up the rest of my face and I'll be back. All right, so now I'm just going in with the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. Um, This is okay. I don't know. I've noticed that when I use it, the next day I'll have like a ton of dandruff. I don't know, maybe I'm using it wrong, but yeah. I need my oils to get soaked up because I did not wash my hair. And I know that's gross because I was really, really sweaty, but I'm sorry, but I cannot wash my hair every single day. Love you. Oh, why does he look so orange? Are you orange? Did you fall in a bag of Cheetos? <laughs> Now it's just about the shoes. Bear, what do you think? I'm feeling this perfume today. This is the Ralph Lauren Romance Intense. It smells so good. I have the Ralph Lauren Romance, not the intense version, and it's in like a pink bottle. This is more of like a red. You guys, these are one of the best smelling perfumes I've probably put on my body. Come on, Bear.
Okay, so most days I do make a smoothie, which is like protein, berries, collagen, chia seeds, oats, water, ice, and also greens. But because I'm gonna eat breakfast at work, I'm just gonna have a protein, uh, a protein shake. So this is one of my favorite flavors, but this is the chocolate peanut butter. And I just take a scoop and a half front camera is terrible because any time I use the front camera and there's sun, game over. Game over. So I'm heading to work right now. Um, also, I keep a blanket over my seat just because when I pick up Bear after work, because he typically, my parents will come and pick him up because they live really close to us. And so I'm fortunate enough that for them to be able to take him during the day so he's not home alone and stuff. And so he's like getting walked and, you know, spending time with his grandparents. Um, but yeah, on my way home, I pick him up, so I need to cover my seat because he's shedding like crazy. So during this time, I typically will listen to the Bible recap. And if you guys are not familiar with the Tara Lee Cobble Bible recap on the YouVersion Bible app, you guys, I highly recommend it. As someone who has not read the Bible to its entirety yet, it has helped so, so much. Just understand concepts, understand key people. She breaks down scripture so beautifully that it's like so easy to process. And for the Bible recap, if you guys aren't familiar, I'm sorry, I didn't even like realize I wasn't even going over what that was. But basically, it's just a chronological order of books in the Bible. And each day, there's probably, I want to say like three to four chapters in each day. And then at the end she breaks it down in like a six to eight minute video so it'll be like oh like you know recover genesis 18 through 21 and in genesis 18 this is where you know abraham blah blah, blah the like all this kind of stuff and so it's super super helpful if you are someone that is like struggling maybe to interpret the bible or understanding kind of what the context is behind it i highly recommend this one because it has helped me tremendously. And it's also just really nice to listen to something while you're on your way to work instead of like music, just because, I don't know, you're like starting your day with God and I feel like that's so important. And typically, as you can see in the previous clip, I still do read my Bible. I kind of just like skim through the chapters that I'm going to be reading and then I'll put the Bible recap on my way to work and I'll finish those chapters that I covered. So yeah. All right, you guys, I'm gonna keep driving. That was a lot. That was a lot, a lot, a lot, sorry. I think people are behind me. All right, so by the time I get to the office, I am typically one of the first ones to get there along with just a few other people, but I am a early, early bird so on days like today i actually did go back home from the gym and then showered and then was on my way to work but typically i've been actually going to the gym and then showering at the gym and then heading straight to work from there so um yeah i do arrive extra early but that's also really nice just because i get to like you know slow down and kind of go at the pace that i want as you could tell, I did have some coffee. It's really cool that they have this tea machine slash coffee thing. So you could kind of just insert that little pod and it will make it for you. But the first thing that I do work on when I get there are emails. I go through all my emails and I get caught up pretty quickly. Um, today in particular for today, I was working on just a few projects. I do like to do majority of my stuff during like Monday through Thursday. Not saying that Friday I don't have a ton of stuff to do, but a lot of the big main projects I really do like to tackle earlier in the week. Um, and I also do help out with social media. So as some of you guys may know, I am a email marketing specialist. I do dive into social media as well. Um, we don't have a huge presence online and so we kind of just dabble in it. And I am in charge of that alongside with some other team members. The company that I do work for is a like 
supplement company and so we manufacture and distribute these type of products and we actually sell strictly to physicians so we don't sell to consumers um i really really love the mission you guys i would disclose where i work but i just kind of like want to keep that a little bit more private um but yeah i really really love my job i love the people that i work with i love the mission and what we stand for and it's actually really, really nice just coming into work and like being able to have conversations with your coworkers. And most of the time we co-work together. So that's really, really cool not being isolated in our cube. Um, when it is breakfast time, my team and I will go downstairs for breakfast. We actually have a in-house chef that prepares all of our meals. And I'm so fortunate enough for him to, you know, do that. So I do not have to pack a breakfast or lunch, which is really, really amazing. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, I was just, this was a Friday, so we were just <laughs> having like a little jam session, she, she and then I did head down to lunch, and for the lunch menu, it was a fish taco bowl. It was so, so good, and what I really love is the food that we eat is typically, like, centered around healthy stuff, so, yeah, and then I snagged my sweater, so now I need to go take this to a seamstress. <laughs> Okay, so I'm on my little walk. I stepped away from my desk. I'm on a little walk around my building because at 3 p.m., typically like everyone goes on a walk. Some people will go at 2.30, 3 p.m., whatever. And it's typically a, like a 30 to 45 minute walk. But um, yeah, I just came out and it's freezing cold and it's like, it's like raining. So I think I'm gonna turn around. But of course I forgot my fob, so. Nice. All right, so I am done with work. It is five o'clock. It was a really good day. I got a lot done. I feel accomplished. Tim is actually gonna go pick up Bear, which I'm really thankful for because I just wanted to get home and I was going to run. However, it is 33 degrees out and it is snowing. I know David Goggins and other people like Nick Bear, they would never let that excuse come up, but I am just not in the mood. I, I'm not in the mood. Speaking of running, as some of you may know, I did run my first half marathon last year, and that was one of my goals, you guys, and I was really, really excited. I did do it. I didn't even have like a goal time in mind just because, I don't know, I just wanted to really finish this the race, right? Because I've never run in my life like long distance like that. I did tell you guys that my goal for this year and particularly was to run another half marathon. And this is so me logic. Like this is not even proved, like this is not, there's no scientific data to back this up. At least that I don't know. I don't know. But I did read a book by Isabella Wentz and she talked about how like if you are undergoing rigorous exercise with an autoimmune disease like Hashimoto's or hypothyroidism, your metabolism is already really, really slow as it is, right? And so when you are performing this stressful exercise on your body, your cortisol levels rise up. And instead of like burning fat, as someone would be burning fat, like running, um, your body stores the fat. And I only say this because last year during that time of training for the marathon, a half marathon in September, like I felt really heavy, you guys. Like, I'm not going to lie. I have lost eight to 10 pounds since last year. And I truly, I noticed that I was gaining weight when I started running. Understand, you need to be in a caloric surplus to gain weight or a caloric deficit to lose weight. I get the logic, but I felt like my body was just under so much stress like and i don't know and i don't know if it was that i don't know because i've always been really like careful with my eating habits i've always been pretty aware of like healthy nutritious protein filled fiber filled vegetables those kinds of meals so i don't know and i guess i do not know but I say all this because I'm not sure if I'm going to run another half marathon. I don't know yet. I have been doing this like running schedule Monday, Wednesday, Friday after work. I'll either run like a few miles or one mile, whatever. And like I feel good, but I know especially for training half marathon, like we need to amp up these miles by a lot. So I haven't been training like a half marathon. I've just been getting used to running again. That's all I wanted to say.
the reason why my face is red and the reason why it looks like I have no makeup on is because I put makeup remover wipes in my car. So on my way home from work, I just wipe it off and it eliminates a step in my night routine. Fresh and clean. There's nothing better than a shower. Okay, so now for my lineup of products that I use after the shower, cause like, I don't know, I'm a hair junkie. I use first going with the Marc Anthony Grow Long Super Fast Strengthening Leave-In Conditioner. This is a detangler. And then I go in with the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. You guys need a heat protectant. Do not miss out on a heat protectant. And then I go in with the Color Wow Extra Strength Dream Coat. At first, I did not know how to use this. And then it actually does work. You just need to drench your roots. You need to drench like your roots at the tops. And then blow dry my hair after dinner. For the most part, straight. Can you say something to him? Hey. hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey. <laughs> okay. Is he looking? He's falling asleep. Goose goes poison. The boys for Cusco. <laughs> All right. Weird. I look, I look giant. Look at your stupid hair. <laughs> hey. 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 Ah. Goose goes. Hey. Goose go. There. Stop. Goose go. Hey. We are gonna take Bear with us to go get some frozen burgers. As you can tell, he's so excited. Look, it's snowing. Yesterday, Tim ran with his shirt off. I am logging off. I hope you guys enjoyed a day in my life, like corporate workday edition. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you would like me to make more of these. We're just gonna <laughs> hang out the rest of the day um, as in hang out, meaning like watch a movie and I'm gonna fall asleep maybe 30 minutes in. So yeah, Tim, you wanna say bye?